Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and these cute meerkats are the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. When I say current, it is now August 1st, 2023, and this pattern is exclusive to the Funny Faces Club all month long. So if you join the club at any time uh, this month, you will get this pattern instantly. If you're already in the club, you should have already received an email with a link to download the pattern. And if you're seeing this, uh, this video anytime after the end of August of 2023, you can look in the shop at shinyhappyworld.com and you'll find it there in with the individual block patterns probably sometime near the end of September. You may be wondering about this little card. That is because somebody has been persistently stealing my designs and they have actually been using my videos to sell their um, stolen copies of my patterns. And so now you're gonna see me pop this little card into the video whenever I remember to do it, just to kind of make it a little bit harder for people to steal my designs. If you're looking where to find it from me, there's a link in the description underneath this video to where you can get this pattern in my shop. Now, here's how to make it. All right, let's put this meerkat together. This is the pattern, the, the video that shows you how to do this if you do not have a light box. So that means that I've, I've already cut all the pieces out, but I've also taken all these dotted lines that are on the back side of the fabric and transferred them to the front. Where I can, I've just used a white chalk, but on the very light colored fabrics, that is not good enough. I also wanted to point out that there are a couple of lines on here where you're gonna be stitching the lines. The dotted lines are all placement guides, except for eyelashes, which you'll see on the face piece and the mouth that you'll see on the muzzle piece. And also his hands have little lines kind of showing that making them look like little toes or like claws, um, however you want to interpret that. So I've transferred all of those to the fabric side and you wanna do that before you peel the paper off the back because then you lose that as a guide. So we are gonna get started and I'm starting with the bottom part of the body, and I'm lining that up with the raw edge at the bottom edge of the block. So I want this to look like I've just snapped a photo of him, and when you snap a photo of somebody, the body, they still have a body, it's just not showing in the image. So you wanna crop that off instead of having that floating up top. Now we're gonna put his belly piece on. They have bellies that are just a little bit of a different color. It's not even really lighter than the rest of their body. It's just a different texture. Sometimes their body will have a little more brown to it and their belly will have a little more gray to it. it really depends on the meerkat. The next piece I'm gonna lay down is his arms. And I've, these chalk lines are giving me a guide for where those get placed. And once I've got those chalk lines all covered up, I know I have good overlap and everything is where it's supposed to be. Then we've got the forehead, the, the face. So that, again, I've got a little line here. Oops, let me push this down just a bit. I've got a line here. And once I've got my face overlapping that line, we are good. Now I'm gonna tuck his ears behind his head. So all of the pieces are numbered and those are, um, if you're using a light box, those actually tell you the order in which you lay them down. The order is a little different when you're doing it without the light box, um, but they do help you identify them if you need to identify what piece is what. There is a, a larger placement guide, that's this, that has um, what, it's basically a key for what all the different pieces are. All right, now let's give him his forehead. So all of these fabrics in this one all come from the Elephant Blenders collection. So these are all shades of gray and they are all shades of the same hue, the same, um, the same color gray. It's just tints and shades of it. So it's darker and lighter versions of the same color, which means it has a really unified look. So that was his muzzle that I just put in there. Sorry, I'm talking about the fabrics instead of the pieces. Now we're gonna put his eye spots in there. So 
Meerkats have dark spots on their, around their eyes and that helps protect them from the bright sun. So those just tuck underneath the muzzle piece and there's a little chalk mark on here that I've transferred over. So I know that once I get that chalk mark covered, I've got enough overlap. And I also, since this piece, I am gonna stitch the eyelashes on, those give me another guide. So I'm gonna line those up so that the eyelashes form a continuous line. So now all he needs is his nose and his eyes. So we're gonna put his nose right where that goes. And then the eyes are fairly small. They're definitely not the smallest eyes I've ever worked with, but they're fairly small. If you don't like stitching around such small pieces, don't worry about it. The pattern has got a link to a post that should, has a whole bunch of different options for different ways that you can you do the eyes. Um, there are ways that involve hand sewing or no sewing at all. I have reviews to my favorite fabric paints and fabric markers, lots of different options there. Oops, and then I just bumped that out of the way. All right, so that is the finished Meerkat here. I'm going to very carefully carry this over to my ironing board and I'm gonna fuse that down into place. Then I'll do all the outline stitching around it and then I will bring it back and show you the finished block and also show you some other color options that I did. All right, here is the finished Meerkat. This is the version in gray. Meerkats come in shades of gray and brown and kind of a yellowy kind of color. So I did all of those colors and I'll show the rest of those to you in a second, but I did just want to point out, I added some catch lights to his eyes and I do that just with a simple dot of fabric paint. And there's a link in the pattern that shows you um, how to do that and also has a link to my favorite fabric paint and also shows you a couple of sewn ways that you can add catch lights to the eyes. But now let me show you a couple of different colors that I did. Oh, and just a reminder, this is a version with the eyelashes. So the next one I'm gonna show you is without. So here is a yellow, kind of that yellowish version. This uses the Lion Blenders from the Animal, King color pal Animal Kingdom color palette. So this one is the yellowish color, which is what you've seen in the Lion King because uh, Timon is a meerkat. And then I've got one more super fun version for you. So in this version, I did two meerkats because you hardly ever see a meerkat just by itself. They always live in pretty large groups and then one will be standing off, standing guard in different places around their territory, but you usually see them in groups. And so for this one, I put them together in two of them in a block and they will just fit if you nestle one of them a little bit underneath. So, so this one is tucked into the little bit of V of space created by his head and then I just chopped off the bottom part of that so that it's still nicely framed in the block. So that is another fun option for you to do. In this one, I decided to do one with the eyelashes and one with the, without. So that's it, how you make the meerkat block, which is the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. I'm Wendy Gratz from Shiny Happy World, and I'll see you next month.